Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat indeed. How often do you get to meet a beauty pageant queen? Look at the crown. You know what I'm saying? It's shining. I mean, it's bling blinging. It's blinding me. Oh, my God. It's, see, that's what I'm talking about. It takes a lot to make that happen right there. But uh, we're here. Oh my God, I just, I had to, she's your queen to who be. Yes, indeed. Miss Melissa Fennell, Miss Black, North Carolina. She is making it happen, ladies and gentlemen. So, how do you become Miss Black, North Carolina? Um, actually, you just have to do your research first. Of course, take a look and make sure that there is a pageant uh, for you uh, in your state. And what I did, I did my research. I knew, of course, we had a Miss Black North Carolina, and I miss um, just one age group uh, up, up higher. And um, pretty much it's just a series of events that take place. You, uh, of course, have uh, many obligations you need to meet. But then, of course, there's one night where you have your formal wear. You have your, um, what we did was a fitness wear instead of your bathing suit competition and you do your talent and whomever uh, exemplifies themselves as the best person for the position and who will actually show the best as Miss Black North Carolina they chose that person and that person is me Wow that's what I'm talking about that is super right there so now I know like uh, when you're doing a pageant you got to have like a platform and you know and some great things to do and say as an action plan. So what, what is your platform? My platform is Healthcare for the Actively Aging. And I define actively aging as anyone whom, uh, anyone who is breathing from a newborn to the elderly. And I'm trying to promote and bring attention to the underinsured, the lack of insurance that we have for our people, as well as the um, lack of insurance and healthcare for our veterans. And it's just amazing because we live on what is considered the richest country on this earth, but yet everyone doesn't have health care. So um, I work full time as a health care consultant, and I have participated from health administration to clinical laboratory to assisted living. So I have a lot of experience. And again, I'm just trying to promote the fact that we really need health care, and it's, uh, it's a definite need for everyone. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Now, um, have you ever done any films? I mean, because you got this. this quality about you, you know what I'm saying? The beautiful face, the personality. I mean, have you ever thought about being in a movie? I mean, of course I have. I mean, even as a little girl, I dreamed of getting that Emmy. But, you know, hey, who knows where this will take me, so. Okay, well, we gonna have to collaborate, cause uh, you know, you you from the seven five seven. That's where I'm originally from, you know. And uh, I I think that you got a lot of talent. So you gonna have to sit down in the director's chair again with Spike Spielberg, and we are gonna go ahead and take it to lights, camera, action. All right, now let's go lights, camera, action. There it is. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, she's your queen, a vision, a perfection, an object. Of affection. Hey, I'm not a singer, but you know, I try. I won three karaoke championships last year, so don't sleep, don't sleep. Credit, you know, but uh, do it. You know how we do in the director's chair. We give credit to the people that's going on behind the scenes. This is the man that's making it happen right here, Mr. Gary McCants. And uh, he is the uh, president of McCants Communication Groups who puts on this particular event, the Black Expo. How did you come up with this idea, sir? Well, this idea came as a result of me publishing the black pages for almost 12 years and then I decided to do the black expo it just made a good fit for what we were doing with the publication and just really just made the black expo part of the black pages so I mean it was a unique part unique part of our strategy now I know uh, the black pages the black expo is all about promoting economic development uh, community reinvestment and things like that what do you feel that uh, you know people out here who want to get into entrepreneurship or just even consumers out here, what do you feel they need to do in order to um, fulfill these types of uh, actions? Well, I think the basic thing is that we've got a number of African-American companies out here today. And mentor opportunities, I mean, if you want somebody to mentor you, I think you can find somebody here today. If you want to get educated about something, I think you can find out here today. Workshops, seminars, you know, what you just stated with Reverend Al Sharpton, with his message about economic empowerment. There's no way you can be black in America and cannot get anything out of this black expo. Right, right. I'm, I'm digging that, man. Who, who is Spike Spielberg? That's you, brother. Brother Troy, you're my man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. So if it's one thing that people need to uh, get away and take away from this uh, particular event, what do, you, what do you think that would be? I think the bottom line is we need, to, we need to own and control what we buy, eat, and sell. I mean, if you're going to wear a product and you don't control it, 
if you're going to eat a product and you can't grow it, then we got some challenges. So I think we need to reverse that kind of psychology, that kind of thinking, and think about what our needs are. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, well put. You heard it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, these events are happening all over the country. Southeast, uh, log on to www.blackpagesusa.com. I mean, the Black Expo, you need to be in the Black Pages. You need to get to the Black Expo. If you weren't here to this event, you definitely need to come to the next one. Vendor op you got vendor opportunities? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got vendor opportunities, educational opportunities. You got young people here, young children here today that are, are just amazed by what's going on. So, perfect opportunity. Let's keep it real. Hey, I'm telling you, entrepreneurship at its finest. This is the man that makes it happen. So, hey, connect with him. Hey, this, this is how it goes down at the Charlotte Black Expo. So, make sure that you're for, here for the next one. And I'm going to see you in a minute. We're going to go get some of this uh, good barbecue they got going on over here. And I don't even eat pork. <laughs> uh, guess who we found over here? Yes, indeed. Yes, he is Panther, ex-Panther. He's still a panther because he's, you know, he's on the team. But uh, the brother has turned entrepreneur and author of this new book, The Power of the Dream. Mr. Mike Mentor himself. What's going on tonight? Good, sir. Oh, man, I'm having fun, man. Just um, got just got here, had a chance to meet um, Al Shopner and, and um, Neil Long. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out here having a good time. So now you, you've written this book, uh, The Power of the Dream. What, what's, what's this all about? Well, well you know what? I, I really believe this is that everybody has a dream. And that dream is given to you by God, and it's not for, for just the dream. You know what? You find your purpose in your dream. And, and, and I believe that um, you continue to go after that. And once you go after that, at the end of the day, you'll be victorious. And, and my story is all about that. And, and so, um, you know, it's, it's my story from the beginning to, the, to uh, my retirement with the Carolina Panthers and, um, and really my relationship with my mom, single parent that raised four kids. You know, coming out of a, a tough situation. A lot of people don't know where I come from. And, and so I want to let people know that no matter where you come from, at the end of the day, if you stick to it, you can make it happen. Oh, man. See, that's, that's powerful right there. That, that's super. And uh, you, you're also a uh, youth football coach yeah. here in the area. Uh, you've been making it happen uh, for some years now uh, with the Nebraska that's Corn right. Huskers. Right. I mean, the, now you went to Nebraska, right? What did you study? I went to Nebraska and I studied uh, mechanical engineering. So graduated in mechanical engineering there in Nebraska in four years. And, and um, so got my degree in that. And, and so kind of using that, really what it did, it gave me the, the ability to, to think in a process. And so everything that I'm doing, uh, every business that I'm in, um, development to, to, to magazines, to, to books, um, all the way to the Ruckus House, to the Child Care Development Centers, even with my football teams that I coach in, in the Little League and then also my high school football team I coach. Um, you know, it's a formula of success that you use and no matter what you're doing, and you'll be able to reach it. Okay. Now, I mean, with all of those things that you just named, it's no wonder that you were named uh, Entrepreneur of the Year uh, here by the uh, Black Pages USA and the Charlotte Black Expo. Much continued success to your brother. Uh, I, I mean, I'm proud to, you know, to have shared the field with you, even though y'all destroyed us out there. It's all good, you know, but uh, it's a great feeling. It's all about the kids, man, and, and with the youth teams, uh, with the Youth Development Football League, man. And uh, if, if it's one thing that you would tell to people out here who want to be aspiring entrepreneurs, how, I mean, how can they break into that? I mean, first of all, I would tell them that, you know, you got to follow what you love. You got to love it. And then once you do that, Okay, you can't give up because it's hard and it's tough, but you can't give up. It's going to be bumps in the road, but you can't give up. And so my message to everybody, no matter what they're doing, is that you go out of it and you work hard and you don't give up because you can never reach the finish line if you give up. Okay, you always have a chance if you keep going. Hey, well said, well put. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear this name over and over again. Pick up the book. You go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble's, Borders. I'm telling you, somebody needs to get this. Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, holidays, it's on and popping right here. The power of a dream, uh, Mr. Mike Mentor. We out here, Charlotte Black Expo. It's Mike Spielberg, baby. It's films, technology, and entertainment out here this year. And I'm just so excited to be here today. I want to thank you for sitting down in the director's chair with me, man. Director. You know how you do it. Yes, indeed. This is Lamont Rucker. Watch the next Spike Spielberg Presents.